You got uh, Matthew Gilbert. Exactly. Uh, like, oh, there, there's not enough space to, to accommodate. But but anyways, just looking at uh, this, does it seem like this the, the, the funding or the services in that particular community are being met based on your observation? Um, no, not necessarily because that particular library is no bigger than this studio. Mm. And um, that brings about a problem because all of the kids are actually sitting on top of each other and waiting uh, to use the computers. And that's one of the reasons why we at Solid Rock is working on a, um, a, a uh, after school program Mm -hmm. uh, so that we can help to accommodate that in our uh, fellowship hall. And that's the reason why we are doing what we can to open our doors to give um, the people in that neighborhood more options when it comes to using uh, computers and being able to get the resources um, that they can use. Yes, uh, and um, I'm going back to LJ for just a moment. Uh, and uh, Mr. John, if you want to chime in, you can. Uh, uh, when you were talking about air quality and allergies, um, asthma, uh, Franklin Street Apartments, uh, uh, I, I, I had campaigned in that area before and uh, it was heart-wrenching to me to have <coughs> mothers share with me, listen, I spend so much time at Shands, now mm -hmm. UF Health South or whatever they want to call it. Uh, I spent so much time at Shands because my baby cannot breathe. Mm. My baby cannot breathe. So, uh, uh, and, and like I said, I, I've, uh, I've also ministered in Washington Heights uh, and some of the similar uh, challenges. Is there anything that you can do from a congressional level to be able to hold HUD properties accountable? Uh, because I believe they also receive federal funding to help subsidize income. Mm -hmm. And when we look at subsidize, we say, well, they don't pay for $200 a month rent. No. Let's look at this. If their rent is about fifteen hundred, uh, uh, federal funding will probably cover about thirteen, and then their portion may be three. But the more the story is, they're not getting a fifteen hundred dollar accommodation. Mm -hmm. But bigger than that. Being poor is not a crime. Mm -hmm. Poverty should not be a crime. Right. Mm -hmm. All people deserve deserve housing. That's a roof over their head. All people deserve housing. But bigger than that. The federal level supersedes state and local. The dollars come from the housing and urban development, HUD. So as a member of Congress, absolutely I would hold the secretary of HUD accountable or make sure they are fine until they make the living conditions for people who reside in federally subsidized housing because it's your taxpayer dollars that are subsidizing the HUD subsidy. Absolutely, I would hold them accountable, and that's what it takes. We need courageous people who understand the Constitution, but more importantly, who know the law and understand the law, that you should be acting as a government official for the health, safety, and general welfare of all citizens, regardless of income level, regardless of race, regardless of sex, regardless of sexual orientation or religion. Yeah, you are fire. on fire right now. Yeah, well, 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 my, my, my question would be, yeah, my question would be, uh, affordable housing. Uh, you got entrepreneurs who who are building houses; they can't get any money uh, from the federal government. I mean, you know, we got. I'm talking about African American uh, uh, builders; they can't get any money from the banks, and they can't get any money from the federal government from all these great programs. How would you impact that? Well, first of all, I want to impact that by telling the people to get out and vote. If you have Ben Carson, who is a surgeon as the secretary of HUD, who just cut funds, by the way, for HUD housing, mm -hmm. look, that was appointed by your president. You need people to get out and vote. As I stated, only 12% of the people actually get out and vote for the will of the people. So if you don't like what you see, you have to participate in the process. You have to be civically engaged. All right, listen, we're at the nine o'clock hour. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Impact Radio Show. As I always say, knowledge is power. Knowledge of self is powerful. Knowledge of God is a source of all power. Get out and support the Florida Star newspaper. God bless you. I love you and good night. Good night. Or